Lawmakers react to the ruling on Section 84, Subsection 12 of the Electoral Act asking Abubakar Malami against its implementation. And the president accuses the People's Democratic Party of plotting to destabilize Nigeria. This is Plus Politics and I'm Kofi Patels. Welcome to Plus Politics. I'm Kofi Mateos and let's uh, move to a first story uh, for discussion. Tonight on the program, the Nigerian Senate and indeed the House of Representatives have responded to the judgment of a federal high court in Umwahia, Abia State that nullified the Section 84, Subsection 12 of Electoral Act 2022. While the senators vowed to appeal the judgment, the representatives cautioned the Attorney General and the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami SAN against its implementation, saying that this would deny the national right of appeal, as they called it. Now, this is because the court had ordered the Attorney General of the Federation to delete the said subsection 12 uh, of Section 84 from the body of the Electoral Act. And reacting to the judgment of the House of Rep the judgment of the court, the House of Representatives uh, condemned the judgment and resolved to formally write a letter of complaint to the National Judicial Council, the NJC. Uh, joining us to discuss this, we're glad to say we have a member of the House of Representatives, Rima uh, Shawulu, represents uh, the people of uh, Takum, Donga, Usa, and Yangtu Federal constituency in Taraba State. Honorable Shawulu, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for having me here. All right. Um, despite the introduction we've given, I want you to run uh, our viewers through uh, what transpired on the floor of the House of Representatives when this issue was brought up for discussion. Uh, well, I was not uh, uh, on the floor of the House I had, uh, yesterday when it happened, but uh, the the feeling of the house and the feeling of most people who have read the judgment is that uh, it's a judgment that smacks of what people have been complaining about in the Nigerian political system, mainly that uh, politicians are trying to bring the judiciary into disrepute. There is no reason whatsoever for the court, for instance, to enter into, to, to accept that case the way it was accepted to give an order against a party that was not uh, a party to the suit, and to order further that the, that the executive should perform the duties of the legislature by going to delete a section of the Electoral Act. What the Honorable Court should have done or should have stopped that would have been simply to uh, say, in his opinion, that the said section of the constitution was null and void to the extent of its inconsistency to a specific section of the constitution. But he didn't do that. And uh, people are wondering why the judgment, where the, where the case was not entered into in Abuja and where, where the National Assembly is and why the National Assembly was not joined as a party to the case in the case that National Assembly is a direct participant. Now, the fact of the matter is, what we, are, what we have tried to do in the National Assembly is to sanitize the political system, to try to build institutions. You do not, when you, are, you build institutions of democracy, institutions that will, will stand pressure, and so it is very discomfiting and it's very, uh, it's really uh, not nice at this stage for uh, the judiciary or some people in the judiciary to come to participate in politics of the country. Hmm. If you are interested in contesting election, you should create their procedures for contesting election. And the National Assembly is empowered by the constitution, the grown norm of the country, to make laws for the country, to make laws for the electoral system. 
which is why so much pressure was put on the National Assembly to make sure that the Electoral Act was passed. That is why several forms of compromises were reached. And uh, the president, in his wisdom, uh, uh, signed the Electoral Act and also sought for an amendment to the Electoral Act. If the president would, uh, if the president would request the National Assembly to do the amendment, where, where was the executive, where, where was the minister in a hurry to go to court to procure a court judgment that will enable him, as people allege, to contest election? If he is interested in contesting election, he is well within his right and he, to contest election. He might as well simply go straight to uh, to resign, to contest election. Nobody stops him from contesting election. But you cannot sit in your office, an office that is supposed to be an impartial umpire, to uh, be to to, to be uh, taking political actions, campaigning, and uh, that it doesn't it doesn't give respect to that office, and that is not the intention of the constitution. Okay. Honorable are you, are you saying uh, President Mohamed Buhari is not in charge of the country? Um, are you saying that he, he lacks the capacity to, to rule the country and he doesn't know what is going on? You know, that he's probably even mentally incapacitated because what you're alleging is that everything that's happening is simply uh, a script of Malami being played out, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice. Uh, despite the fact that we know that a lawyer and top member of the Action Alliance, uh, Undu Kaidede, was the one who filed the suit uh, to challenge the constitutionality of the provision uh, uh, included in the, in the Electoral Act. You're insisting that this was all orchestrated by Malawi simply because he wants to contest the next elections and doesn't want to uh, resign from office earlier than 30 days. So, so it therefore means that the president doesn't know what is going on and maybe he's not aware of, of what's happening. He's being controlled by Malami, which means that he's not capable of governing the country. Is that what you're saying? No, that's what you are saying. I did not reach that conclusion. You reached that conclusion. No, because, My conclusion because you, is, you, you said, you said. No, 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 no. My conclusion is simply this, that the Minister of Justice or any other person who is in government, including the persons that Unduka and Co are, are promoting to contest for the presidency of this country, have a right to contest but they need to do the needful, simply resign before the contest. And of course, the president, I believe, will call whoever is trying to do this to caution because he's done that a few times. Now, the issue of the president's ability to rule and people within his government taking actions or laws into their hands are completely two different things. And I, I believe that uh, the people who are promoting this the people do not wish this country well. For instance, it's simply this, uh, for a sitting central bank governor anywhere in the world to want to contest election while sitting on the central, while sitting on top of the central bank is what can only happen in a place uh, where where people are taking laws into their hands. Because what you are going, what you are saying, what you are telling the people, investors, and everyone that is interested in the economy, they are going to ruin the economy. It calls to caution. It brings into doubt. But, 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 but Honorable Shaolu, um, 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 Gordon Mayfield, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, has already said that he's not interested in running for office. He's already said that those who were, you know, um, uh, uh, peddling his name, uh, you know, didn't have his approval. Even his friends also came out to help him amplify his rejection of, of these... Um... Well, if he, if he did say that, it is, it is good he did say that. Because what I would have said, if he does not deny it, is to ask the president to, to remove him or ask him to resign. Because those people who went to court, or the names of some of the people who went, are the same people that are promoting his candidature. And that is simply against the economy. It's, an econ it's economic sabotage for a sitting governor of the central bank to double into politics or people around him to double into politics. What does that mean? That every action that he has taken so far are meant to achieve a political end. What is, what is the implication of that to the people who want to invest in the economy?
So, so, so uh, back to the, the, the earlier point I mentioned, but I think you've, uh, as I've just said, uh, Golden Mayfield has denied um, those being behind the calls for him, you know, to, to be president or sorry, to join the political free. But um, uh, you, you, you're insisting and you're saying that uh, Malami is behind all of this. And I'm, I go back to that, that question. What I'm, what, what I'm saying that is you, that you, you said, you said, they, you said a few they, minutes they, ago they on George, Shaulu, George that you said that he, he, Malami, Malami was, um, is interested in running for office. That's why he's pushing this. But Mr. As President... If he's interested in running for office, he should resign. As yeah, he is he. he, he that, the judge, yeah. that the judge does not, cannot give instruction to him to go and perform a legislative function. All right, and but, if he dares to perform a legislative function, it means that he has an interest. Okay. But, but, but you know, President Buhari wrote to the National Assembly and, re and sent a bill to you requesting... The, uh, the deletion or the amendment of that section, uh, 84 subsection 12. So would it be fair on Malami to, to, to say he is behind all of this? Well, that is for him to come, out to, to come out to speak for himself, number one. And number two is for him also to refuse to, to perform legislative functions and wait for the uh, process as enshrined in the constitution. To, to, to take place. What is the process as enshrined in the constitution? That if the president objects to uh, any, 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 any legislative proposal from the National Assembly, he vetoes the, the legislation. If he, if he on, the, on the other hand, signs it, and he decides at a later time to send a letter to the National Assembly asking for amendment, he's within his right to do that, then they should wait for the legislative process to be concluded. Um, uh, you, 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 you did talk about, I'm sure you have, you have accepted, you realize, you recognize that um, uh, it was an individual Nigerian, not a member of government, a lawyer and top member of the Action Alliance by the name Unduka Edede, who approached the court in Umuahe, Abia State. Uh, at some point you said he, he seems to be... Um, Look, my, you, my, you say, my, listen, listen to me, we've known this from, the, from 1993. We've known this from the case of Onogen, that when you see somebody go to court, there is somebody behind him that is asking him to go to court. Like the Association for Better Nigeria, who went to get the 1993 election and all. He was not acting, he was not an independent person. And uh, would you, for instance, you are any ordinary citizen, go to the crowded courts today and get judgment within a few days and get the court to listen to you within a few days, it's been happening, you know, in especially political cases, you have uh, some swift, uh, swift uh, uh, rulings. Political cases yeah. means that some political interests are pushing it. Okay, uh, but so, so uh, you mentioned, you did say at a point, uh, Honorable Shaulu, uh, that there is someone who, Nduka, uh, the, the plaintiff, uh, the one who South filed the suit, rather, is, 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 is whose interest he's trying to protect. Um, the person wants to be president. Can you give us insight into who you're referring to? No, 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 I didn't say that. No, you, you mentioned, you said whoever, whoever owned the guys. I did not say, I did not say that. You should ask, I did not say there's a particular person. I did not say that. There are interests. Okay. And whoever goes to court, you, can you go to court today, file a case today and get the judgment tomorrow? It's, been, it's, it's happened several times, especially in political okay. cases. Okay, to try and do one, let's see. No, but you're aware when it's you, been happening, when, especially when court, when with political cases. And you will get judgment. See, the issue is this, that if we want to please the political system, a lot of things have been happening. Cases have been filed, for instance, well over one year for people who come from their political parties to other political parties. Courts have not got judgment. Uh, we have not got judgment on, on, on most of them yet. Most of them have not got to the stage of judgment. And then a letter act that was signed by the president a few days ago, now we've got judgment. It doesn't it start to but, reason but, but, that there, there, there is something. There is something, and it is the responsibility, therefore, for those who do investigation like you, mm -hmm. or people who are producing the program to find out. Call, call the person who came. Who are those who went to court? Why did you go to court? But who I, are those behind you? Where know. did you get the money? I, I'm, I'm, the I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm and sure. Then you, go, you go, then you go to his bank account. You go to his bank account and find out where he got the money to... So to are, are you, where, are you, where are you saying that, that Unduka Edede... Uh, was bribed. I don't know. I don't know. I don't are, know are you alleging that also the, the trial judge was also bribed as well? We're talking about him. my lord, the honorable justice Aya Dike. Are you saying she was bribed by Undukai Dede? Is that what you're that saying, is sir? What you are, that is what you are saying. No, because you were saying we should check. 
bank that account. That is what you are saying. That so who, who, what you are who, saying. Honorable whose bank account are you saying we, we should go check? Go and check the Ondukas account uh, where he got the money to, to file the case. All right. And are, you, are you also you saying that some, you should do some you should do some investigation? Yes, yes. Sir. Um, are you also? I'm writing out. it down. I, I, are you also instance, saying also, that? Also, also go and find out. For instance, go and find out why the people, why the cases that were filed by the PDP long ago in River State and some other states about members who did come from PDP have not been heard. Mm. Honorable Shaolo, is, is something you, you're trying to a message you're trying to pass to us? Is something you know that we don't know? So can you can you spill spill the beans for us? Just say. I don't say, have beans to, to spill. I've no. told you because you're, you, you're, you're speaking in parables. Um, I'm not speaking in parables. If you have something you want to say, you can say them. It seems there's something there's something you're me. aware of that you 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 feel don't not, say not free to say. What you want to say through me. All right. All right, but uh, let's move on. Um, if you have I, something to say, you say it. No, you, say it no you, you're making some insinuations and telling us to go check, which means you have no some information. There's no insinuation. There's no insinuation. Or you're I telling us you. to go, go find out some things, you know, why, why cases were stopped. Yes. So is it like there's something you know about these things that may be wrong? Uh, if you know, maybe you if can you, just make our job easy that you and know, tell us. Why don't you say it? I've told you what, why, why you should find out okay. that cases are in court that have not been heard. Okay. And this case is too fast for it to be heard. Why, why have so those, why have those cases not out. been heard? I, should, I don't know. Okay. Uh, what, about, what about the element of time? And I do know that in, in jurisprudence, there's some of these considerations uh, are brought to bear. Uh, we're aware of, of the electoral election timetable. We're aware of the fact the election is just around the corner, less than a year from now. Uh, we're aware that there was this uh, clamor for the president to... the president of amendment of yes, constitution... To, for the of president the to sign the Electoral Elimo Act because of, of, of the, the, the element of time. And INEC, even through its, um, its uh, National Commission of Voter Education, Fessus Okoye, had been crying and saying, we need the Electoral Act passed quickly because we are running out of time. It so been, is, is it, it impossible passed, that the trial it judge, Milord Justice, uh, 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 um, what's her name again, Anya DK, um, looked at the time frame, said, okay, this is a, 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 a time-bound case. So let's hear it because we need to be done with this because the election is around the corner. And I, whatever INEC does is, is guided by the Act. So are you being is fair? Like, she, is that what she told? Is that what she? Is that what the judge told you? No, but this this is the things they look at, sir. I'm sure you're aware of this. So is that is that the basis for not joining the National Assembly as a party to the case? No, you were talking about the fact that the case was and that, is too that quickly. Why National Assembly was not joined as a party to the case? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm asking you. So you so I I, I don't know too. Yeah, you, you know, because you said the case was heard too quickly. And I said there's an element of time that is considered by judge. Or is that what right? the judge told you? If the judge told you that it's an element of time, the National Assembly is going to appeal. I don't so know. We'll go, I'm, I'm, we'll, I'm we'll asking see. you. Okay. All right, sir. I'm um, asking uh, you to. I don't know. That's why you, you are. I guess I'm asking the questions. But I, I mean, don't, I don't, I so, don't so, know. So, so why, why, would, know why, why, why would a judge, you know, on the standing of um, the Honorable Justice I, Anya DK, uh, of a federal high court in Muahia, um fast track such a case. You think? Well, I, I don't know. You should go and ask ask the judge. No, because you seem to be really having some issues with that. So, are you are you okay with the speed with which the, the judgment was uh, with which it was had? <laughs> Honorable, you 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 were uh, uh, seated then. You are raising questions on the character of of the judge. You know, so I'm asking you, what do you think? Yeah, would be I'm the also motive? raising. I'm also raising questions about the. Uh, I, I, I'm also raising my questions. I'm also asking you if you have gone to the judge, and is that what the judge said in the judgment? So why do you think? Why do you think, um, uh, Madame Mrs. Ayadi was was very quick with this? I'm not, I don't know. I don't know what she said. I don't know anything about her motive. But I'm saying that there's a process for amendment of the constitution that should be followed. All right, all right. Um, let, let's look at some some insinuations. Um, uh, you know, this has been the journey. Talking about the amendment. Can we? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yes, this has been the journey. Talking about the amendment of the Electoral Act. Um, you've had sort of a, a battle, you know, between the House of Representatives. It's not a battle, but this is what has been playing out um, between the House of Representatives and the Senate, and the National Assembly on one side, and the governors on the other side. Um, you know, the National Assembly came up with the issue of direct primaries, and uh, this was rejected. The president sent the bill back to the House. Uh, the governors also went to see him and voiced, 
you know, their strong opinion, uh, um, uh, rejection of this, or, you know, when uh, they, they didn't want to, to have this in the bill. Um, the Senate president also was a, a frequent visitor to the presidential villa, along with the Speaker of the House of Reps. So it was evident that you had both sides going for something uh, different. Some have said that the National Assembly members are simply trying to get insure themselves with this amendment of the Electoral Act. And they do not want the powers, you know, in the state to be against them. This time we're talking about the state governors. What, what do you say to that? Well, my take about it is uh, I don't believe that it is right for, uh, for us to have just one format of, of conducting primaries, of selecting people who contest election. It's democracy. There are places they do, there are places in the world they do primaries. There are places they don't do primaries. There are areas that parties go shopping for people who will contest elections. And it has taken place, in, it takes place in many, in many areas. So the president, in my opinion, is within his powers, within his right. And I think it's also a good process to have a consensus candidate, to have people that want to do direct, people that want to do in, in, indirect or by delegates, they are all proper, and I believe that it is right that they are, they are in the in the electoral act. Of course, I would have wished that we did not put the stringent conditions that we put in the electoral act concerning having uh, candidates sign agreements and so forth, because people can just abuse it by going to buy forms when they don't intend to contest election, but just create crisis within political parties. The fact of the matter is that political parties are self-governing en entities and must remain self-governing entities with their rules, with, distinction, with distinct characteristics. You cannot have parties being uniform, doing things the same way as if they are, uh, 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 what happened under the Abacha when uh, the former Attorney General of the Federation described political parties as the five leprous fingers of Abacha. We cannot do that. Parties have to choose the way they want to do things. Now, talking about members of National Assembly uh, wanting to fight their way, political elections all over the world, there is no section, no one section of the polity determines what happens in any political party. Any political party. Every interest has to be taken care of. And people, whether they are members or not, have to, have to cooperate with people at home with people everywhere before they go ahead with winning any elections. You cannot sit in Abuja and win any election. You have to go back home. And uh, if you go back home, to, to, you need to get people to help you win election. So the question, therefore, that National Assembly members want to fight their governors is just mischief. No, no member of National Assembly that I know will want to go and be fighting his governor. The governor has different duties and responsibilities. National Assembly members have different duties and responsibilities. What does happen is simply political. Some people will go to the governor, who is a major stakeholder in any, in any state, to ask to, 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 to discredit members, uh, members of National Assembly. Uh, it's a normal thing. And if people have the, on the other hand, if some members of National Assembly have their way, they will go to their governors or other stakeholders to discredit the other people. So. Question of saying members of National Assembly are doing this because they want to fight. Where will you fight your governor? You are supposed to work with the governor to improve the state. So uh, the issue, therefore, is that people should not be afraid of election. People should not be afraid. Election, there are two things. You win or you lose. Today you win, tomorrow you lose. There, uh, or today you lose, tomorrow you win. Okay. I, or you retire from politics. So the issue, therefore, for me, is that we need to clean up an electoral electoral process. And I'm very happy with the recent court judgments on decamping, people moving from their political parties. It's been so difficult for people outside Nigeria to understand why somebody is in one party okay. today, tomorrow is in okay. another party. Yeah. Yeah, Honorable Sholu, th thank you. But, um, the House of Reps has, has uh, re no report, has had very strong words for uh, the Honorable Justice uh, Aya DK and has reported her to the National Judicial Council. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a clear case of the judge saying that um, 
the Nigerian constitution stipulates that appointees of government seeking to contest elections must resign at least 30 days to the date of election. You know, and she also went on to say that any other law mandating such appointees to resign or to leave office at any time before that 30 days is unconstitutional, invalid, illegal, null, and void to the extent of its inconsistency with the that's, that's very exactly, clear provisions of the Constitution. You are, you are, you are very aware of this, Honorable. No, 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 no. You are no, no, very no. aware of this. That is, a very, that is a very, very, very poor reading of the Constitution. The Constitution, there are processes of election. The fact that you resign from, the fact that you contest primaries does not mean you are going to contest the election. So, the law is talking about people resigning from their positions to contest general elections. The, 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 the National Assembly is talking about resigning to participate in primaries. They are not the same and cannot be con construed to be the same. Aren't the primaries the, a part of the election? Electionary no. processes. Because, uh, 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 because you if, if, if you look, if you look you at the INEC time, the timetable, sorry, sir. It's if you look, not if, everybody that yes. contests the primaries that contest the general election. Yes, but I'm saying that it's part of the election so cycle. The, 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 so the if, if, is talking, so who, who says the constitution? Who, yes, the yes. constitution is talking about contesting the elections as conducted by INEC. The parties as self governing in, uh, uh, as, as associations have a right to make their rules about the conduct of their members. And you cannot take it away from, from, from the parties. So the it, parties so are saying that. The, yeah. the, the National Assembly is saying that. For the, for the, for the purpose of primary primaries, you need to vacate your office so that you participate in the primaries. Why, why is that the, the case? Is, why, why, primary why is, is not the same. Primary is yes. not the same thing why, 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 why as the as focus? Election. Why the they focus by the National they, Assembly on primaries in particular? That is saying they cannot be delegates. You are saying they cannot vote or, or and be vote or be voted for. Why the focus on why, primaries? Uh, is, not you, the do, 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 why in some places, for instance, maybe you don't know, there are there are one thousand appointees of a governor who will add number the number of party officials that are entitled to, to participate in the process. Would that be a, fair, a free and fair election? Does that develop the political parties? When you are talking about the legal system, about the, about the institutions, you are talking about building institutions that can stand the test of time. Now, there is no rule about the number of political appointees that can be appointed. Someone, it happened in uh, between 19, 1999 and some that towards election, some governors appoint up to 1,000, 2,000 political appointees so that the, their numbers can influence and distort the elections. That is not fair. That destroys the political parties. What happens to the people who have been holding political offices without salary for all this period that they don't have a say in who should go and contest election? So there's a reason why National Assembly did that. It's been abused and abused and abused and abused. And so, for the purpose of primaries, if you want to participate in primaries, leave your political appointment and go and face it. All if right. you finish right. and you fail, you may be reappointed by your boss. But for now, the law is that you cannot participate if you are a political appointee, be a delegate. Why should, if you, if, why should people be holding, for, holding party offices and then they are not qualified to be uh, delegates because Thank you some very people much. have received political Thank you very much. Be we, we have to go. I, I'm sure a lot of Nigerians will want to see the same energy by the members of the National Assembly when it comes to issues uh, that do not directly affect their political fortunes. Honorable Rima uh, Shaolu, thank you very much. She's a member representing Takum, that, Dunga, that, that, Musa, that is that Yamtu, that is below Federal the Constituency. Thank you that very much. Thank you very much, sir. It, it's really been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure having you. And uh, I mean, you've, you've, you've done so well to answer all the questions. I look forward to having you again. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for staying with us on uh, Plus Politics. We'll take a short break now, and when we return, we'll discuss the APC alleging that the People's Democratic Party is planning to destroy the country. We'll be right back. <laughs>